Welcome to Mary's Quiz Time, the show that tests your knowledge of Mary Manners etiquette lessons. Yay! Hello, children. It's great to see you. Do you like to have friends over, or perhaps a relative to stay the night? Well, if you do, then you're going to want to test your knowledge of gracious hosting. So put on your thinking caps and let's get started. Round one. For these questions, you will answer yes or no. Okay, here we go. Question number one. When we have a guest over, we want them to know that this is a special day for us. Yes or no? Did you say yes? Well, then you are correct. When we show our own excitement at having someone over, it makes them feel welcome. You just earned your first point. Question number two. When we have a guest over, we want them to feel special, sort of like it's their birthday. Well, without the cake and presents. Is that a yes or is that a no? Well, of course that's a yes. We always want our guests to feel special, but you don't have to sing the happy birthday song to them. <laughs> if you got that right, it's another point for you. Question number three. When having an overnight guest, we should make sure that the space they will be sleeping in is clean and tidy. Yes or no? you say no? You're just being silly. The correct answer is yes. Well done. You just earned another point. Now let's see if you get this next one. When having a guest, we really don't need to clean our bathroom because it's just going to get dirty again. Is that a yes or a no? Well, contrary to popular belief, that would be a no. We always clean the bathroom before having a guest. I hope you know where your toilet brush and plunger are because you just might need them. And a little air freshener is a good idea too. Congrats! That's one more point and you just completed round one. Okay, get ready for round two. For these questions, you will answer true or false. Here we go. When having a guest, we should surprise them with the type of food that we like to eat. True or false? Um, that would be false. We should always ask our guests beforehand if they are allergic to any foods or really dislike something. 911, what's your emergency? You nailed it! <laughs> you just got another point! Well done! Now the next question. A gracious host can provide a basket of things our guest might forget to bring or otherwise find useful when staying at our house. Is that true or is that false? Well, that would be a very gracious thing to do. So if you said true, you are correct. Wowza, you're really good at this. Next up, it's a tricky one, so pay attention. When a guest comes over, we, as the host, should choose what games we will play or what movie we will watch. Is that true or is that false? This one's a head scratcher. The correct answer is false. When we have a guest over, it's nice to let them choose the entertainment so we can be sure that they have a good time. Aw, isn't that nice? That's one giant point for you if you got that right. Well, that's the end of round two, so on to round three. For these questions, you will answer agree or disagree. First question. When a guest is coming to spend the night, we should give them a tour of our home 
so they will know where to find the things that they might need. Agree or disagree? Ding, ding, ding! We have our winner! The answer is... Agree! We want our guests to be comfortable while staying with us, so we want them to know where to get an extra blanket if they're cold or other things they might need while staying with us. Question number two, and it's a brain teaser. When having a guest, you don't want to tell them about any rules or special instructions because you don't want them to be bothered. Do you agree or disagree? I hope you said disagree, because if you did, you just earned another point! We do want to let our guests know of any special rules or instructions while staying at our home. Can you think of any you have that you would need to tell a guest? Question number three. When having a guest, you should introduce them to everyone in the home who they haven't already met. Agree or disagree? <laughs> And the correct answer is... Agree! That way, your guests won't feel awkward if they run into someone they don't know in the house. And those in the house won't feel awkward either. So, who are you? And what are you doing in our house? Uh, I'm Maddie's guest? Well, light up, Firecracker. Congratulations! Well done, and one more point. Alrighty now, it's time for the bonus round. There's two points in it for you if you can get it right. Here we go. While a guest at a friend's house, Mary Manners was presented with something to eat that she really did not like. But she ate it anyway to be polite. What was it? Uh, sure, I'd love some. Did you say fish with a great big old eyeball staring up at her? Then you got that right. Mary Manners has tried really hard to like fish, but she just can't. However, she ate a little bit in order to be a polite guest, and she hopes that you will too, if you ever are in that situation. You just scored two bonus points! Now, let's see if you are today's quiz champion. You have to add up all your points. For round one, there were four questions worth one point each. For round two, there were three questions worth one point each. And for round three, there were three questions worth one point each. And you get to add on your two bonus points if you got that one right. How many points did you get? Wow! You got that many? Mary Manners is going to be so proud of you. Well, that's all we have for you today, folks. We'll see you next time on Minnie's Quiz Time. Yay!